Why the raising of this flag on this day inspires an independence movement 60 years in the making. West Papuans around Australia have raised their Morning Star flag, a potent symbol of their struggle for independence from Indonesia, to mark the 60th anniversary of the first time it was flown in the former Dutch colony. In Indonesia, the flag is a banned symbol of what is considered to be an illegal organisation. West Papuans fly their flag in Australia's capital, a symbol of a decades-long struggle for self-determination, an illegal act in Indonesia, punishable with jail. Continue to resisting and continue to demonstrate the spirit of resilience to fly the Morning Star flag. Papua! In Brisbane, also marking the 60th anniversary of the flag first being raised. Indonesian diplomats are regularly critical of events like this, saying it implies Australian support. But the Indonesian embassy didn't respond to SBS inquiries about the 60th anniversary or the flag. Flown across Australia, across the Pacific and Indonesia, where it's often met with a military crackdown. The morning star for the Indonesian government uh, represents an uh, aspiring independent state of Papua, which would secede from the unitary Indonesian Republic. It first flew on December 1st, 1961, as the Netherlands prepared Dutch New Guinea for independence. Shortly afterwards, the UN took control, controversially handing the territory to Indonesia, and the flag was banned. Most Indonesians, their reaction would be sort of a knee-jerk to a flag that goes against everything that they learned. This former Dutch soldier was there in 1962 to repel an expected Indonesian invasion. I think Holland was trying to do the right thing, but it's com completely destroyed by Indonesia. But he never saw the Morning Star flag. At that time, nothing. I, I, totally nothing. It's only later on, when I actually was here in Australia, that I found out a little bit more about it. The Free Papua Movement, or OPM, adopted the flag in 1971. A brutal, decades-long conflict with Indonesian forces has cost hundreds of thousands of West Papuan lives amid accusations of human rights abuses. We are calling the Australian government to take this critical humanitarian crisis uh, to the, through the rightful mechanism of the United Nations Security Council. For West Papuans, the Morning Star represents unfinished business. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News.